Welcome back to the channel. Guys, I know it's been a few days, but I got the vid, okay? I got the bug. It got me. You know, I was one of those guys talking shit the whole time. Ooh, 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 just dodging shit. Just dodging that shit for two years. Boom, got me. Feverish. Horrible. It's like the regular cold. It is not like a regular cold. Who the hell got COVID and was like, eh, regular cold symptoms. Fuck out of here with that vibe. Anyway, <clears throat> we're on like day four, feeling so much better. Let's get into the video. I'm going to show you how to build this platform for uh, outdoor kennels, okay? I've got five outdoor kennels, and I've got nothing but dirt, all right? My dogs aren't going to lie in dirt, grass, none of that. So I did tile back in the day. I moved to Australia to play baseball, trivially, uh, Needed a part-time job, learned how to lay tile, okay? So we're going to show you some of those skills. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to construct this, okay? I'm also going to, step by step, and I'm also going to talk about every single tool that you need to get this done, okay? If this video helps, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a lot. And of course, you could ring that little bell so you don't miss any future videos at all. I'm Captain Chad Gabs. Let's get into it! Okay, you guys, so I was sitting down to edit this video and I realized there's no way I could actually start editing this video without going through exactly the material that we need, okay? We're gonna start off by showing you these eight foot two by fours. Um, with this particular build, with the size that we're making, I only bought four of them. That should be plenty to make my little, uh, to, to make my frame, right? And then also add a couple of uh, uh, stabilizing uh, boards uh, in the middle of the frame so that it's nice and sturdy. Uh, here we have a cement board. It's a uh, Hardy Backer uh, cement board. You're going to need that to go right on top of the sheet of, I believe, quarter inch plywood. Okay. You're going to need some Versa Bond, which is uh, the glue, right? You're going to need to buy a bag of glue. This is a Home Depot product, Versa Bond. It's a gray, uh, it's a gray glue. And this here is a grout color haystack some tiles and uh, i do believe that's pretty much all we need as far as material um, total and cost not really exactly sure maybe what 70 80 90 bucks for all of that and uh let's get into uh watching how i build this shit. we're definitely going to need an extension cord because well you're going to have to use a grinder to cut the tiles we're going to need a skill saw to make our cuts on our plywood and also our two by fours so the frame's all built there on top of the sawhorses. And with your 25 foot tape measure, make your measurements. Got to cut that plywood. <laughs> Securely fasten the plywood on top of the frame with a quarter inch galvanized wood screws. And this is what it should look like going into preparing to install the hardy backer board. Take your measurements, make your hardy backer cuts. <laughs> okay, so now that we have the backer board attached diligently, the next step is probably one of the most important steps pre laying the tile. Okay, so you got to get your sponge, all right, you got to dampen it and you got to wipe the backer board first. It needs to be a completely clean surface in order for the glue to stick diligently. Now, you gotta dry lay your tiles, okay? You gotta, I like the stagger look. So we staggered them here. And then after you do this, you could start considering getting your square here and measuring out, you know, what you're gonna need to measure um, to obviously make them fit diligently on the board perfectly. So what we have going on here is the grinder. Um, I don't recommend taking the, 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 the guard off your grinder. I took mine off. I've been doing this a long time. I gotta, I'm pretty handy with it. But I'm going to drop my phone right there and I'm going to pick it back up and then boom, show you exactly how we got it all fit perfectly there. I like to dry lay it, pull it off and put it on the ground like that so I know exactly how it goes back. Of course, we got to get the glue ready. Got to get a couple of buckets of water, one for the glue, one for the water. Boom, mixing up the glue, looking real nice, looking real nice. What else we got coming up? Boom, you need a trowel, all right, because once we apply this glue, um, we're going to need this trowel to do that. Got the glue on the hardy backer board, got the trowel. Now we're going to get after it and get a nice, smooth, even trowel. 
all across the whole thing. You're going to see what it looks like in the end. Not too much glue, fam, because you'll make a hell of a mess once you put the tiles on. We've got the tile spacers. All right, and this is what it looks like after we get the tiles put on. We've got them nice and evenly spaced. Everything's looking good. A little drippy, drippy, drippy. Use a sponge to wipe that off like I did in the end. And uh, you're about to get a good look at kind of what it looks like. Um, after we get done grouting it. All right, so here's the grout. We're going to mix up the grout. We got our grout float. This is a sanded grout that we're using since it's going to be outdoors. And uh, there you go. There's the haystack. That's the haystack color. Really cheap tiles I got from Home Depot. And then boom, there's your finished product, folks. And stand by because I got a few more things to talk about. Don't touch that dial. Okay, you guys, just a couple of things before we end this video, and I want to say thank you for tuning in if you're here uh, thus far. You know, um, this is Bao. She was just modeling one of our platforms. But a couple of the things I wanted to show you about this is um, you can't just put, you see how we're obviously sitting in dirt? You can't just put the, 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 the platform flat on the dirt because if there's any moisture or anything like that, it's going to eventually create some mold, okay? But if you elevate it using some bricks, that takes that problem completely out of the equation. Um, I just love these platforms so much. Uh, it's obviously pretty bootleg. I mean, I mean, in, in an ideal situation, I'd like to use concrete and so on and so forth, but um, that's not an option at this stage. But uh, yeah, we got the food bowls, and you could just put some bedding on top of the tile so they're not on the on the cool. I mean, some during when it's hotter, they like the cool tile. Um, if it starts to get a little colder, they have the nice uh, the nice blanket to lie on. But anyway. If you guys have any questions about this video or anything about the, the construct or any of the tools or where to get them, I'll put most of that information um, I can in the description below. But uh, yeah, so if you have anything else to add or any questions or anything, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And thank you so much for being here. I'm Captain Chad Gabs, and this is TFE TV. We'll see you next time.